right, let's learn a bit of Morse code. And there's a great, simple, easy way of doing it. Easy, free. We love free, don't we? I will put a link to this website uh, from Google Experiments uh, in the comments. But basically, head off to uh, morse.withgoogle.com and forward slash learn. And we're going to play the demo on the desktop. You can try this on your phone. Now, what is it it's asking us and what's it showing us? It is showing us some letters in that it wants us to type in Morse. So can you see in the little picture below the T there, there's a dash or a dar, as we should really say. And it just wants us to put that in. And then it'll move on to the next letter, which is the letter I. Now, no clue there. Well, there's a clue. There's two dots in the insect. I for insect, two dots, two eyes. So it's dot, dot, or dit, dit, as we should say. Uh, no clue there in the E. It's going to throw up a clue. Oh, there's a clue. And in the picture, there is just a dot. So it just wants a dit, it just wants a dart. Now, what was that? That was dart, wasn't it? That's dit. And an I, that was the two eyes. One, two. There we are. Dart. Dit, dit. Oh, M. We haven't had M before, have we? Oh, it's going to give us a clue. M for moustache. Two, two dashes or two dars. And then the E was just a dip, wasn't it? So we went da, da, dip. Oh, now, what was T again? Oh, no, it wasn't dip, was it? It was two eyes. The dip was E. Dip, dip. Insect. T, I can't remember that now either. It's going to show us a clue. Oh, there it is. Just a single line. A tape. It's a tape. That's a good way of remembering it. So the letters it gives you, or the clues it gives you, are pictures and words to try and remember what it was. I. Two dots, wasn't it? Insect. Two dots for the I. T was tape. E was E for earwig. E for I. And it was just a single dot in the center of the eye m4 oh it's mustache wasn't it da da anyway you get the idea now so as you get more proficient and start remembering this will speed up and the words will get longer so see how you can get on with that and um why don't we have a go at um automating making some sort of um program to send us a message uh, of our choosing so we'll have a go at that further down the line until then take care